Hey y'all, okay, it's Auntie J. I'm back in the video booth. I wanted to show you, I was getting some questions on the street, literally people coming up to me, you know, I wasn't really feeling all that, but anyways, um, how I made my unit look so natural. So, as you young children was saying, I am about to show you how Auntie J slays her lace. So first what I did is, I have my hair in a regular braid pattern, where I'm going over here to the side so that because I'm going to wear my lace on the side I want my hair to actually be braided in the pattern that I'm going to wear so that the unit will lay flat then what I did is I sculpted my edges and just laid those down because I would like to um, show my hairline I have what they call a widow's peak I hate that reference but um, here so I want to have that out and um, I use a blend uh, to lay my edges down of the argan oil the molding and um, this is a mix of tea tree oil and um, olive oil I have really sensitive skin so I have to watch what I put on it but anyways uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put her on before I do I want you to see I added some combs because I'm not gonna glue her so I added combs at the sides and then um, I added the combs here in the uh, the back as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just slip her on. And before you actually anchor her, you want to get her where you want her. So I want her over here. So literally, I'm just moving it, and now I'm laying it right there. And as you can see, it's like no detection. Let me get closer. Woo. Okay, there you go. So you can see it's like no detection. And then you just want to take that all the way around. Um, I left it, my edges out. And if you ladies don't have edges, that's okay too. You can bring it up farther because it is lace. It'll lay down. You'll probably have to put some hair clips like where your part is so that if you, you know, have to whip your head or whatever, you don't want it to come out or you don't want that wind to get up under there. That wind, especially if you're East Coast, out here in Cali, we really just got water to worry about pretty much. Unless you're at Tahoe, I sure miss being with the Black Ski Club. But once I'm back on point, I definitely am going to get back involved with all those things that I did that I took for granted. Okay, and on this side, the comb, because remember now, I moved the part instead of being in the middle, it's over here. So now the ear tab is up here beyond my ear. So that's okay, but what I'm going to do is just anchor that comb right into my wig cap and bring her on around and anchor the back combs because she is um you can put her in a high ponytail let's see i don't know if i can show you we'll see if you can see that when i get ready to edit we'll see if i if that move was even productive but she does have baby hair out at the edges and so um that's how i slay her and um she's comfortable for me uh, she's 28 inches long. She is listed on eBay. I'm having a Valentine's Day special. Um, my birthday is 9-11. And as you know, I celebrate it with another very special and amazing woman. But I'm going to change my birthday to February 14th. I'm a ball of love. And instead of having my birthday be one of a memorial where we have such a somber effect, um... I want my birthday to be a little more joyful. So, it, as a result, I am having a Valentine's Day special on my eBay items. So, go to the link below and you'll be able to see her units. I do have limited ones in stock. And if you like it before Valentine's Day, you need to take action. This is Take Action Tuesday, so you need to take action. I want to thank you for watching. Um, the units that, you, uh, that, that are on there, they're different textures. Um, this one here is uh, is listed, but my texture is a little deeper. I blew her out straight, 
and then I put her braids back in because although it's a man-made fiber you can use a hot comb if my hands were a little more limber I probably would have crimped her but as a result I just took her and I braided her and I took her in different sections you ladies remember back in the old days when you used to do um, braids and you would dip them in the hot water and then when they come out or your lot you dip it in the hot water and it comes out crinkly that's what I did to get my wig pattern a little more defined because after I blow dried it the the uh, waves weren't as um, defined as I wanted I wanted it to be like this so I hope you got value found something interesting on how to slay your lace and make it look really natural and if you want to hear more tips on beauty health and wellness click the subscribe and if you just love this video subscribe and share it with your friends all right well thanks for watching god bless you until next time hugs